good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with a brand new collection video for you guys as you guys know it seems like multiple times man i don't know over the span of a year i'll end up with a big old tub full of wwe action figures and we typically just go one by one through the items and i talk about them maybe i have some background info on the figure i'll tell you a little bit about the figure you know we'll talk about it look at it all that different stuff and we're gonna go all the way through until we get to the very end now this collection does come to us from my man max he is a friend of mine friend of the channel and so he hooked us up with his old collection. He hasn't been collecting for a few years now. He even had a program in here from WrestleMania 30. He went in New Orleans to WrestleMania 30, and that, I mean, that was a damn good one to go through, so pretty cool. But a huge shout out to Max for making this video possible, but what we're gonna do is go through every single figure in here, we're gonna break it all down, man. So let's shut the hell up, get into it, man. And starting out first, we do have like this mini steel cage playset. Now, I'm pretty sure this goes to the, maybe it's the micro figures or like the little mini Mattel figures. I'm not sure entirely what this is, but I think this is a hell in a cell for the little mini micro brawler action figures. I don't know exactly what they're called, but yeah, there's the door operational there. So you could use this for a backstage setup or something. So yeah, we got some little mini store pieces right there, or little mini cage pieces. We also have a backstage playset. I think this is like the little backstage interview area playset, I think. I could be wrong about that. We also have the WWE Championship. And it looks to be the older version right there, Monday Night Raw. I remember when this first released. I don't think this is the 2005 version, but when I was a kid, I had the 2005 version. I think this is like the 2009 version, but I had the 2005 version when it first came out, and I remember ordering it on WWE Shop. I was so excited for it. I remember It was like the one thing I remember ordering when I was a kid. I think it was like 9 or 10, and it was the one thing I remember ordering like by myself off WWE Shop and like waiting for the mail and getting this and defending it on my trampoline, jumping off my house like Rob Van Dam jeff hardy and you know wrestling my my pillows and i actually had this stuffed frog i can never find the stuffed frog again but i beat the hell out of it and won many a championship against that frog so i beat the hell out of him but let's get into these figures man first figure we have right here is a basic randy orton here now they have made so many different okay this isn't a basic this is the flex force i think i think this is the flex force you guys can see by the hand right there yeah this is a okay there so oh yeah he's got the punt action so you can punt the hell out of somebody okay so it's got punt action that's hilarious so there is a Randy Orton Flex Force action figure. We have a very good figure right here. This is not the Elite 14. This is actually the best of pay-per-view Elite John Cena. His hat may be in here somewhere, but wait, this is a basic. It's a it's a basic John Cena with the Elite 14 or best of pay-per-view t-shirt on here. So that's what this actually is. So that's kind of cool. But I was like, what the hell is this going on? That looks odd. So yeah, there's a basic John Cena. We have a Jax Umaga figure. Very cool. Kind of a loose shoulder there. Kind of common, but you you know, got a beautiful looking Umaga figure. Massive. Jesus Christ, but RIP to the legend. Here is a basic Randy Orton. Decent looking head sculpt. He's got all his tattoos on here. Got the red and black trunks, knee pads on there. All the good things. Pretty cool right here. I, I'm going to be real with you, man. Seeing basics like this really make me miss old basics, man. The old articulation and just basics used to just be so much better, man. They really did. And I hate to be one of those old heads. It's like, oh, back in my day, the basic figures were much better. I didn't even grow up with basics. You know what I mean? Here's a beautiful Jack Shelton Benjamin. I wish they would do a figure like this, throwing back to Shelton Benjamin. Give us a cloth good shirt, maybe some long pants, Shelton Benjamin with the blonde hair. That would be really cool. Like a cloth good shirt. I would love a Shelton Benjamin like that, but that's a nice looking figure there. Next up is, holy shish. This is actually a figure I do not own, and that is the, I think it's Elite 19 Brock Lesnar in the half red, half black shorts. Very, very cool figure. This is a figure I've never owned before, so that is really awesome. It, it looks a lot better if you get decals and put all the different logos on there and stuff like that. You know, I think he's got like Jimmy John and like some cool things going on. That's really what you'd like to do there, but that's a cool Elite right there. Never seen Elite 19 in person, I don't think. Oh, snap. Pretty rare figure right here, man. We got Elite 9 Zack Ryder right here with the headband on there, pissed off head sculpt. Not a bad head sculpt for the time. He's got the one leg sleeve on there. Very quality Zack Ryder figure right here. What a great piece. I'm sure a lot of people like, dude, this is a, this is a pretty rare figure or a figure that used to be pretty rare. I don't know what it goes for nowadays. Oh, snap. What do we got? Oh my god, we have the Build-A-Figure Michael Cole in here. Another figure that 
that I've owned one time before, I think. Then I ended up popping his head off and using him for something. I don't know. But we have the Build-A-Figure Michael Cole. So we have a lot of cool flashback Mattel figures in here that, you know, not flashback. You know what I mean. Kind of a jump in time here. Very sweet, man. I see another gem over here, bro. We got the Elite 8 Edge. Another beautiful piece right there. Pretty decent condition right here. Got tight joints and everything like that. Nice looking edge figure. One of the best edges they've ever done, I think. And it, it was made way back in the day. So this edge is very quality. Another classic. We have the Defining Moments Rock. Nothing a little, you know, a little... Okay, I don't know what the hell that is. Kind of feels... Oh my god. He's got a Harlem Globetrotters headband in here. I thought this was a, at first I was like, when the hell did John Cena have that bicep band? But it says Harlem Globetrotters. I don't I don't know what that is. I know what the Harlem Globetrotters are, but I don't think that is wrestling related at this juncture right now. But I don't know what that is on the tit right there. But you know, you could head swap this. He's got a little bit of paint chip, but this is a quality rock figure right here. Just kind of hopping in a time machine here. Okay, so we have another Harlem Globetrotter wristband right here. Very cool. For some reason, when I think of the Harlem Globetrotters, all I think of is Scooby-Doo from those specials back in the day. Moving up next, we have some scaffolding, a ladder, and some playset pieces right here. Let's see what else we got done here. Okay, so we got some more like little platform, you know, ladder, scaffolding. We got another little... Okay, so that's like a buggy or something right there. I don't know what that goes to, but it's got some wheels on it. We have half of an announce table right there. I'm trying to get all these pieces out of here. We have the other half of an announce table. And then we have a, another piece of scaffolding, which is pretty cool. Dude, like these little pieces of scaffolding and stuff go great for your backstage setups, your stage builds, things like that. That's what you can use all these little playset pieces for. It looks like we have the bag that goes to the Elite 13 Cody, I think it is. That's a pretty good, a pretty good accessory right there. You know, you put it on the mask, but here's Cody. You know, you can just put this on there. I know this isn't the version of Cody, but got the smiley head. I think this is the Elite 20 head sculpt. White knee pads. Pretty quality basic, if you ask me. It's not bad right there. You got a little something special going on there, young man. Next up. Okay, now we have the best of pay-per-view John Cena. There it is. So he took the shirt off, put it on the basic, but it really goes with this Elite. Oh, my God. And I'm pretty sure that's the Build-A-Figure Michael Cole wave if I'm not mistaken, so probably was building the Michael Cole figure right there. We also have a look at a basic Triple H, but he's got the Elite Triple H accessories on here, so I I want to say that was the best of pay-per-view Triple H. It may not have been, but I want to say it was. I could be wrong, but there's Triple H basic with all the gear on. We have a very cool John Cena basic. I always love these like digital camo shorts. Pissed off head sculpt. Nice looking armbands on there. It's like the, you know, the Rise Above Hate and the black attire. Very quality right there. I like that. We have a basic Dolph Ziggler in here. Very cool. Love the small arms Zigglers. Can't wait for our new Elite SummerSlam figure that's coming soon. I'm pretty sure this is the Elite 7 Hornswoggle. He's got his even, he's even has the DX shirt on there. Very quality. Nice figure. This figure has so much articulation, bro. Like, these are so good. I, I love this figure. The Hornswoggle figures are underrated. Next up, we have another John Cena basic. Purple armband look this time. Pissed off head skull. You guys know they've reused this mold by 787 times. You know how it is. Another mold they've reused a million times is going to be Rey Mysterio here in the black, yellow, and white. Very cool right there. 619. We have an Undertaker basic, similar to the Elite 8. Got the pissed off head sculpt. Nice quality. Yeah, that's a quality looking basic. Dude, just basics were so much better, man. I don't care. Back in my day, basics. Oh, snap. Really cool attire here for Kofi in the blue, white, and black. Very sick Kofi right here, man. I just feel like they're better quality. Like, the plastic feels better. You could move the bicep around. It actually felt like an action figure. It didn't feel like it was going to break, and the kick pad could actually move around, have ankle articulate. It doesn't feel like it's going to snap in half. I swear to Jesus, they were better, bro. Don't really care what you have to say. Next up is Defining Moments Macho Man. Don't see any cloth goods. I, I don't know if he has any more, but this is just one of the tubs he found there, but you know, you got the white and purple gear. I'm, I want to say they're going to re-release this figure someday. I guess it will, you know, that remains to be seen. Or maybe an ultimate two-pack or something. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But this is a gorgeous looking figure. A lot of OGs love that one. Moving on up, we have a good God in heaven. Look at this Miz figure, bro. I used to despise the Miz. My hatred for the Miz started back in these days, man. I was just like, what a tool bag this guy is. You know, I respect him a little, but Jesus, man. Like, look at this Jax figure, bro. Look at that massive, massive Miz. Just what a, like, look at this gear. What are you doing, bro? We got a Ryback basic. Pretty, I mean, not a bad looking figure whatsoever. Nice little singlet design. Like, basic, man. Let's just get off of it. All right, we're, we're, we got it. All right, we got it. Quality looking Booker T right here. Love the gear. Love the head sculpt. Elbow pads in here. Even have the sculpted boots. Very, very good Booker T basic right here. <laughs> 
Don't think I've really even seen this Booker T before, so that's pretty quality there. We got, uh, what the hell this Miz is doing? Almost looking like a bone cruncher. Look at him. Look at that pose right there. I don't know what this is from, but he's got, like, what in the... I don't remember these. I, I I have no recollection of this line right here. But, yeah, you got the Miz doing whatever the hell he's doing. And then you got a Wade Barrett Nexus basic right here. Not a bad looking figure, even though he's got, like, the... You know, some of these basics back in the day, their legs would, like, you know, aim inward. And they'd end up, like, with their feet together like that and look all weird. So, that did happen sometimes. We got a Jax... What the hell is that? Six-man tag team championships? I don't, I don't know what the hell that is, to be honest with you. I have no idea where that's from. But we do have the other side plate to our Jax WWE Championship. We have the Elite 13 Cody, so there is the mystery solved there. We actually do have our Cody ba uh, Cody Elite here. So this is the first time I've ever held this figure in hand, I think, so that's pretty cool. It's got the Elite 32 head sculpt and all that. We have an Undertaker with, like, some effed up hands. I don't know what's going on here. I think this is another Flexum figure or something. He's got, I guess, like, headbutt technology. I, I don't know. I don't know what that one is. We have another Wade Barrett basic, this time without the Nexus armband. We have a Sin Cara basic, who used to get a lot of figures as well, I guess, because he's just so toyetic, but haven't had a Sin Cara in a while for obvious reasons. He also came with this removable mask. Next up, it looks like we have another Randy Orton basic, this time in black and white, so kind of plain Jane. And then we have this Rock basic that they have re-released like 984 times. Rock and long pants, bro, they just be pumping those out. Like, they don't even care anymore at this juncture. We have a Jax Undertaker with the Sarah tattoo. I wish they do that. I wish they would give us an Undertaker from Mattel with Sarah Tattoo, but they're not gonna do it, but look at that head sculpt. We have a little mini brawler CM Punk in, in yellow and black. I'm pretty sure that's his debut gear. Could be wrong about that, but he's looking good. I'm not gonna, I, I don't really want to get him out of the box, because I'm afraid I'll lose him, but a little mini ladder thing. A WWE Elite figure stand that used to come with all the Elites. Yet again, another Randy Orton basic. Like, good God, at the Randy Orton basic, must have been a big Randy Orton guy. I mean, I'm a big Randy Orton guy. We have a Daniel Bryan basic. I think I've on this one before. That's a lot of that's a head sculpt a lot of people use for Kenny Omega. So that's pretty cool. I think it's Elite 19 head sculpt. We got some championships here. We have another six man tag team championship. I have no idea where that came from, to be honest with you. Maybe like Wrestling Superstore. A basic US championship. Little, you know, the flat ones. Got the flat gold world heavyweight championship. We have the flat oval intercontinental championship, basic version or whatever the hell you want to call it. And then you have the intercontinental championship again. So that's pretty cool there. We have the elite. I have no idea idea what Seamus this is. Maybe Elite 8? I think I found this at a flea market one time and it was beat to shish, so I never got it, but here it is again. Pretty cool. You know, they've been redoing Seamus, like, forever. He's kind of loose here, but, you know, it, it's to, you know, that's kind of what happens. If you keep figures in a bin like this, they kind of do that over time. We have another basic Triple H. Terrible looking head sculpt, but great looking gear. I always love this gear, and he's got the entrance great. This might be the entrance greats. I, I'm unsure. That is the entrance greats knee pad, though, I think, but there is Triple H. And then the last last two figures in here is going to be a basic Rey Mysterio with an elite shirt and the red, gold, and black. And then you have the Christian here with the cool looking head sculpt. So purple and black attire Christian. And then the last things we have here is going to be a Randy Orton Elite 2 shirt, I think. Or maybe Elite 9. And then we have the core. Very, very cool. Core t-shirt. And then we do have some more scaffolding camera in here. And then we have an armband which says GT batting tees, which I have no idea what that is, and then we do have a Rey Mysterio Elite 11 mask. That was the full box, man. Taking a trip down memory lane. Lots of great figures in there. He also sent me some basic rings. So, you know, it's the it's the run-of-the-mill basic rings that we've seen so many different times before. But always love getting these massive boxes, man. Getting these massive boxes and then going through them one by one and taking a look at all the different figures. But I had a ton of fun, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Lots of big things coming in 2023, man. I, I have a lot of ideas, and I'm trying to sort it out. But I am ready to go, man. I'm very excited for what's to come in 2023. Lots of things people have been waiting on, things I've been waiting on. Just lots of great things to come, man. But I appreciate you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Have a blessed day and I'll see you guys in the next video. You cry.